Lesson 28, Session 3, page 652. Here it says, find 38 plus 5. In the number 38, we can see that we have tens and we have ones. So you can draw your T chart right down the middle. We have tens and ones. And with the number five, we only have ones. So we can transfer that information down here into the tens and ones. 38 is made of three tens and five, or excuse me, three tens and eight ones, 38. And then we add five more ones. Step one, add tens. So we're adding three tens. We don't have any more, that's it. Three tens. And then we have eight ones. One, two, three, four, five new lines, six, seven, eight. And we're adding five more ones. One, one, two ones, three ones, four ones, five ones. You can see that we made a group of 10 here. 11, 12, 13. So we have three tens and 13 ones. So three tens is one, two, three. It looks like this. Let's count by tens. 10, 20, 30 plus 13. So if we have 30, we can keep on counting 40, 41, 42, 43 we get a total of 43 all together. Problem number six says find 65 plus five. Problem number six says 62 plus five. So we have six tens and two ones, 62. And then we add five more ones. So we need to add our tens and then we add our ones, right? So we're adding our tens first and then we can add our tens, our ones next. So six tens and no more tens is still six tens. What is two plus five? Five plus two. Seven ones, so six tens and seven ones, 67. Problem number seven says Chrissy catches 56 fish. Danica catches seven fish. How many all together? Those are joining words. That means 56 has to be a part. Seven is a part, and we are going to add them together to look for the whole. So if we are adding 56 plus seven, we could say that we are adding one ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens, plus six ones. and add seven more ones. One, one, two ones, three ones, four ones, new line, five ones, six ones, seven ones. Now we add up all of our tens together. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, keep going. 60, 61, 62, 63. There are 63 fish all together.